Hello and welcome. We're the Portland guitar duo. I am Foti Likuridis and my partner is James Manuel. Um, we have chosen a few pieces to perform for you and we began with a piece by Antonio Soler. Uh, Padre Antonio Soler was a monk at the Monasterio de San Lorenzo de El Escorial and he was also the choir master there. Um, he has written church music and theater music and organ music um, and he has written more than 200 works for keyboards uh, of which about 120 survive. His uh, keyboard works uh, are influenced by the Spanish popular music and by Domenico Scarlatti with whom he studied uh, when uh, Scarlatti was a composer at the Spanish court. Um, Soler was interested a lot in the theory of music as well as mathematics and he has written uh, a book on modulation as well. Uh, this particular sonata that we played uh, certainly reflects uh, the influence of both Scarlatti and his uh, interest in uh, the modulation uh, since there is a lot of motivic development particularly in the beginning of the second section. Brian Johansson uh, needs no introduction to the guitar world. Um, he is a guitarist, composer, and professor of um, guitar at Portland State University, and he is the major force behind the annual Portland Guitar Festival. Um, he has enriched the uh, world of uh, guitar repertoire with great works, uh, Fresco being one of them. Uh, Fresco was actually commissioned by the Guitar Foundation of America for the 1985 Guitar Foundation Festival. Uh, it's a very exciting piece in three movements and we will perform the first one. John Cage is one of the most influential um, experimental composers of the 20th century, of course. Um, the piece we, we chose to play for you is called Dream, and it dates from 1948 when he was collaborating with the Merce Cunningham uh, Dance Company. Uh, this particular piece is basically one long melody on the lute, um, and the guitar provides uh, bass accompaniment, uh, sustained notes and uh, resonance, um, and all falls within more or less a mode. Um, since I started studying this instrument I wanted to include a piece for lute and guitar and we chose this one uh, because the description of the title um, and the ethereal quality of the lute sound go very well together.
The Elgard Yates uh, guitar duo has been uh, performing together for more than 25 years. Uh, Peter Yates is a professor of guitar at UCLA and um, uh, Matthew Elgard is uh, a known composer. Uh, they have performed extensively throughout the USA and, and uh, Europe uh, at such venues as uh, Lincoln Center and also at jazz clubs uh, in Brussels and uh, Austria. Um, this particular piece is one uh, that calls for the pioneering work that they've done on prepared guitars. Um, as you can see, we have prepared our instruments with um, nuts and bolts and uh, fishing weights and alligator clips, and uh, that changes the sound of the guitars. And um, you get uh, bell sounds and gong sounds and all kinds of percussive effects. And uh, we hope uh, this will be a piece that you like. Manuel de Falla is, of course, one of the major composers of Spain. Uh, along with Granados and Albeniz, uh, he has used uh, the Spanish folk music as the basis of his compositions. Uh, both the Miller's Dance and the Ritual Fire Dance that we're going to perform for you draw from the gypsy music of Andalusia, and they're both full of passion. Um, the Miller's Dance is uh, the male protagonist's solo uh, in the ballet The Three-Cornered Hat, and uh, the Ritual Fire Dance is the exercising of the uh, ghost of the male lover uh, in the uh, El Amor Brujo. Thank you. 